Welcome back to a new section of this course where we will be talking about what databases are. Since we discussed most of the beginner topics of PHP, I want to set a step forward and focus on databases. There are a couple topics that I want to discuss with you. First off, I want to start by explaining what a database actually is. I want to show you what MySQL is, or MySQL, and I want to show you how you could use databases. And there's also a term that you will hear quite a lot in programming, and that's a query. So I want to explain to you what that is. And lastly, I want to show you a couple examples about databases. Before we start, let's separate the word first, because it's good to understand what data actually is. And I want to make it as simple as possible, because, well, it's not really that difficult. And data is basically fact related to any object in consideration. So if you have data about, well, let's say yourself, you have a name, you have an age, you have a height, and you have a weight, and you can go on. And what a database actually is, it's an organized collection of structured information. And most of the time, the data is stored in a computer. So what is a DBMS? Well, DBMS stands for Database Management System. And this is a software which is used to manage a database. There are a couple softwares that you can use, like MySQL or Oracle, but we will be focusing on MySQL. So what is MySQL? Well, MySQL, so SQL, means a structured query language. And what MySQL allows us to do is to create, modify, and remove data in the database. And a good example might be a registration form. So whenever you register on a website, it will create a new row inside a table. It can help us with updating, modifying, or deleting data. And a good example might be if someone wants to delete his account on a certain website. It helps us to retrieve data, and this can be to check if an input field of a login system is equal to data in a database. So it allows you access. A lot of companies do actually use a database, even the smallest electricity service provider near your town or city, because they need to save client information or client issues and so on. So what is a query? You will hear the term query a lot when you work with PHP and even in other programming languages where you will be using a database. And the database query extracts data from a database and formats it into a human readable form. So I have actually created a table and it's good to remember that every table has a name. And keep the name as simple as possible because you will be using the name a lot. Every table has a column, and every column has a name. And in a vertical fashion, all the values of column name, so well, our column has a name which is equal to name, and the values are David, John, Michael, and Connor. A table actually has a row, and this is the horizontal information. And this is basically, well, in our case, information about one single person. And lastly, we have a field, and this is the intercession between a row and a column. So what we actually can do with this is to insert a query based on the information that we need. I will be discussing most of the queries in the next couple of episodes, but let's test one query out so I can show you how this actually works. So I have the same table again, and the query always starts with the keyword select, no matter what system you are using. And what you're basically saying is, hey, database, please go pick up something that I want. And the details that you want to, well, let the database pick up is after the select statement. And if you want to select everything, you need to use a star sign. And after the star sign, you need to specify from where you want to select it. So we need to use a keyword from. And we want to select from our table called user, which is, well, beneath our query. The output right now will be everything of the table because we're selecting everything from user. But what if we only want to output one row? So let's say we want to output ID number one, David, and 22. So now we need to add a filter to our query. And this can be done with the where statement. Let me show it to you. All right. 
The where statement tells the database to perform a filter and only return a record that meets the condition after the where statement. So what we are saying is, well, search for ID that is equal to one. And in our case, that's David and age 22. You can also search on someone's name, but the problem is if that we have two Davids inside our database, it will show all the records where the name is equal to David. So I prefer to work with IDs. So let's continue on. And the output will be something like this because we're selecting ID number one and we want everything. So we want the ID, name and age. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.